you too. Yes. We are in now. <laughs> yeah. It's a different vibe. I know, right? Let me not get copyrighted. Yes, Aqua season. Ha 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 ha. Ah, Aqua season or what? Let me put that up there. <laughs> Is it Aqua season or no? I think it is. Hold on. I'm on my drink. Let me grab my earbuds real quick. Try to let them charge up. Uh uh. I got some feedback. I hope you can hear me. And I hope these hang in there. Oh my goodness. It's your girl, guys, in Persephone. Yes, I am here. And let's see what these celestials talking about, honey. Because it's much, right? You see the sun coming up. I did my promo so long, the sun then caught me. Yeah, let's go ahead and start off with the oracle. I grabbed the right one. We're going to start with our sister Kanja. Kanja sister. And go ahead and jump into it. I cannot believe it. I'm so grateful and thankful. Happy Aquarius season. Happy um, that coming off this full moon in Leo. Okay. And she was feeling calm tea, wasn't she? So aquas with, with Leo moons and Leos with aqua placements. <laughs> cut, 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 cut. <laughs> Definitely feeling cunty. Now, for the goddess, you know, I break a moon. It's pretty chill. Like, I feel pretty good. I feel good. I mean, I look good. So, I better feel good, right? Even try to get a little under the weather because it's been so gloomy here in Dallas. But, honey, I hurried up and nipped that in the bud. Because you ain't, you ain't about that action if you can't heal yourself rapidly. Rapido. So, feeling so amazing. Yes, it's pretty hectic and and flying. Flying, the energy is flying. And the veil is so thin and just over the moon. But I'm back, baby, and I'm happy to be back on here. Yes, changes happen. <laughs> changes, major changes, that shift. Coming off that holiday was no joke, baby. That new year was not 2024. It was like, I'm not playing with you bitches. You were starting fresh. We're getting fresh. <laughs> and I'm here for it. Every second of it. Okay, honey? Don't even mind it. Let's get it. Let's see what we're talking about. I know, Spirit. I am so happy to get into the city. I've already lost two. I've already lost two. Let's see what's on the bottom. Mm. This woman's drawing on this ground. And I think it, you know, like drawing. 
subscribe and, and then and come mama. Either yeah, she taking cornbread out the oven. I think that might be the sun card, y'all. I already feel some sun energy. And that's coming off that moon. I tell you, I say, I say, I tell you. Coming off this uh um, moon, definitely feeling that sun energy. Feeling it. Look, first of all, I can't get this card to get off the floor. So I must not be able to see it, but I need to see it, and I'm going to take it. Because, honey, I'm going to take it the floor. Beans and cornbread. Because mama looks like she's taking cornbread out the oven, and these are like some beans, honey. Beans and cornbread. Cornbread and beans. I'm going to take them. And I damn near want to just take just them. Spirit, is there anything else you can say? Mm. It's too many. I see the footprints in the sand. Okay, it ain't too many. Honey. Oh, and we got the fool out of here. And then we got the self-love. Ooh. <clears throat> and you look like it. Mm, look like the king of wands looking at me and at the top the catfish i'm gonna crown it with the catfish and just leave it at that let's see what happens honey Ooh, catfish somebody pregnant somebody pregnant i knew i was dreaming a fish <laughs> See, honey, baby, because we got the fool and self love, got beans and cornbread, and footprints in the sand. We got a man who's um, a book you are gambling man. I cannot wait. Let me find each and every one of them. I'm like the catfish, I will read, read last. So here we go. Um, I want to find out why this woman is dipping her hands in whatever liquid this is, more than likely water, and writing on the ground. I told you it was cornbread. I told you. Hold on. Okay, since she came up first, we are gonna go back to the the woman. Let me tell you, I crowned it with the catfish. There's a woman here on down, kneeling down, and she is drawing something with her hands into the um, ground. And there's a bowl right here. Mama got cornbread and the beans came next to it. Let me see what this cornbread about. Let's see. The cornbread represents gold, money, prosperity. This is used to con cons for consumption to become one with luxury. When the card appears in your reading, you can expect to receive extra money or a surprise shock and spree. Good wealth, health, and fortune are on the horizon. Get excited and connect with the song. You see what color I'm wearing, baby. That's what they do. They do. I know what to do. <laughs> We're watching what to do. Let's see. Oh, the black eyed peas represent protection from the evil eye and good luck. When this card shows up in your reading, it's time to get in that kitchen, whip up some dinner, and expect to be covered and protected from those who are envious, jealous, hateful towards you. We take these ribeye steaks out the freezer one time. Hold on, hold on, lady, for real. Cause I'm gonna take these ribeyes out. I'm gonna take these ribeyes out. And they go to bed today, honey. I'm I appreciate it. Take the ribeyes out. 
bottom. Take, take the rib eyes out. And make sure we know what we're doing. Now you're all that commotion. <laughs> Mama's a little tipsy. But I like this energy, right? I normally am not the one to drink. Oh, it came out when it was supposed to. The catfish represents one's ability to adapt to any situation. So keep in mind that your current situation isn't too big for you to handle. All of your hard work <laughs> and experiences, your sacrifices and tears will soon pay off. You are coming into a great space of self-awareness and self-discovery. Change is good and you are coming into a place of newness. What I say now, child? What I say? The staff wanted to come out and that was at the bottom of the deck and there was ancient wisdom. When this card appears in the spread, always note that you have wisdom guiding you even if it doesn't quite feel like it just yet. All you have to do is allow the staff to lead you into the right direction. Many times it is a matter of moving as opposed to just ending in one place. Trust your intuitive abilities and guide you in the right direction and give you the upper hand in, in your situation. I know that's right. Mm -hmm. Um, we're going to go to this book, honey. One thing I'm going to do is go to the book so you know. Footprints showed up, but I didn't pull it, so we're going to keep on moving. Excuse my allergies. It's been a little, the weather been a little messy. I'm here. Okay, the gambler. He's out here after the beans and after this gentleman sitting here in his purple, but the gambler is down here. <clears throat> The gambler represents the need to take risk or the need to stop taking risk. When this card appears on one end of your of one end, you must press your luck. Do not be afraid. Scare money don't make money. Get out there and follow your dreams. You're the luck you're in your lucky cycle. On the other hand, this card represents recklessness. Stop spreading, spending because it is out of hand. Don't jump right in, in head first. Take your time. Risk taking could prove bad results. So you might need to pull back on the purse strings, but, or you know you got, like, say for instance, you know, okay, we got the purse coming up. Shoot, nobody's above it. All bills will do. You know you got the money, just don't, 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 you know, worry about some things that like it's it giving me prioritize. You know, like you might need something for something else, but make sure you taking care of home and you know, all those type of things first. Okay. Now back to this I'll be damned. I knew this gentleman in purple looked familiar. How John the Conqueror represents the energy of not only faith, happiness, and strength, but the power of conjure all con to, to conquer all situations. When this card appears, it is important to use your wit and intelligence to face your situation with a happy heart and full of faith. Face the, face the east and call upon his name as you rub the root. His power is unmatched. I hope you got yours. Mm -hmm. There we go. The floor wash. Mm, that was after the catfish. 
The full wash represents the need to do a little foot magic. It is time to not only watch your steps, but to get your feet planted in clean soil. Watch your steps by making sure you are going in the right direction. What direction? When this card appears in your reading, it is also crucial for you to start getting grounded and by actually cleansing the floors of your home. Make your own spiritual cleansing water and get to work. So wash these floors, it is Sunday y'all, so wash the floors. If you have people come in your house, wash the floors. If you and your family been in and out and there people walk in with their shoes, wash the floors. It's just trying to get that, it's trying to build that energy up building that energy up to bring something in so when it's when spirits start nudging and acting like this you already know okay well let me start getting getting things tight i think we know about sins but let's go to the next one the offering and sacrifice represents giving freely and what's a happy heart when this card appears in your reading it is time to express gratitude for all of your blessings it is the thankfulness that brings in more than wealth than anything, anything else. Your thankfulness is the greatest contribution to all that is being inherited. This is called the offering, giving freely. Sacrifices are a little different. The sacrifice represents the need to let to let go of something to enjoy whether it be, it, it be time, food, etc. To gain closure, appreciation, and connection to yourself, answers of spirits and or loved ones. Self-love represents the need to nurture your inner child. When this card appears, it is time to show yourself some love. Through, the, through this love will come an abundance of healing and new review of yourself. The love, the love you have for yourself comes before all, and it is the determining factor on how others care for you as well as what you attract to yourself. Take care of your heart. You owe it to yourself. The mask represents deceit and bad intentions. When this card appears, it is time to look behind the mask that both you and others are wearing and seeing for what they really are. And seeing them for what they really are. Seeing things for what they really are. Truth shall be revealed, but do not be afraid of it. Take it for what it is. Learn and grow from it. Self-love, masking the self-love, excuse me, boy, that was a real hard early on, that lets you know. Full of this, full of this, <laughs> full of this goose. I have drunk a lot of it, thank you. I just feel like self celebrating. I did a whole thing on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, welcome this Aquarius season, because I have been in my age, so... Of course, I popped a bottle and, you know, welcomed in Aquarius season properly. Salute. So nice. I had to say it twice. Honestly, Conjure kind of sold it up for me. Plus, you know, I'm definitely going to be back. Come on now. It's just January. This is just the pregame for us. February aquas. Second house, 11 house. 11, 11 house. Represent. It's time. It's time, ladies. Second 11. The second 11. <laughs> Can I call you, Rose? Yes. 
Çeviri ve Altyazı M.K.